morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is Sunday morning, April the 30th of 2023, and this is Coffee with Pastor. And Welcome. And I certainly have my cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to Psalm 16. Psalm 16 is where we will be reading this morning. Again, it is a very, very brief chapter. Um, we run into that quite often with the Psalms, but we'll take them as they come. So again, good morning to you, and it is my opportunity to go through my local church spiel. And again, let me just mention that if you have a local church in your area that preaches the Word of God, uh, you need to be there. You need to, if you are physically able, you need to be in the local church supporting its ministry, supporting its pastor, and I cannot encourage that enough. Um, it is so, so important. And by the way, best case scenario in a perfect world, you cannot church online. So um, please make it a point to be in your local church if physically you are unable, and there are those Um let me encourage you. God understands that. We understand that. And we would just encourage you um, right around 1120. Um, our services will go online and you are more than welcome. In fact, encouraged to join us at that time. So please, please make it a point to be in your local church. And here is our list of local pastors. Um, of course, I'm going to ask for your prayers right to begin with. And then Pastor Tony Barber, Pastor Dave Boylet, Pastor Rich Collins, Pastor Jerry Drummond, Pastor Ken Ford, Pastor David Grinnell, Pastor Jeff Gwilt, Pastor Dave Hansen, Pastor Fred Krueger, Pastor Jim McKinnis, Pastor Glenn McMorris, Pastor Steve Milo. Pastor Jack Richard, Pastor Andrew Smith, Pastor Zach Stamp, Pastor Doug Strader, Pastor Tom Teal, Pastor Brian Teed, Pastor Chris Wass, and Pastor Tim Whalen. And we would encourage you to remember these men in prayer as we get started this morning. Let's go ahead, let's bow our heads, bow our hearts, and ask God's blessing upon these men, upon their churches, upon our reading of the Word of God, and upon each one of us, and certainly upon the day that God has given to us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, again we say thank you for a brand new day, and certainly the beginning of a brand new week. Father, as we come into your presence, we want to again say thank you for each one of these men that we've listed just a few moments ago. Father, we thank you for their determination to preach your word, to preach what your word teaches and what it says. Father, I pray that your spirit was active as they have prepared themselves for today. Father, I pray that your spirit would be active today as your word is, is proclaimed. And Lord, work in our hearts and in our lives. Help us, Father, to be everything that you would have us to be. Father, we look at the problems that are in the world today. And Father, your church, your people need to be revived. And Father, literally through the preaching of your word in their local churches, Father, we ask that you would please, please revive your church. Work in each individual heart and life to draw us closer to yourself. Work in these men and Father, help us to love you more than we have ever loved you before. To be more dedicated to the task ahead of us than we have ever been before. And Lord, please, please work. Work in our hearts and lives today. We ask your blessing upon the church. Your church. 
Father, we pray that you would work in your church. Thank you, Father, for what you've done. We have the opportunity to read your word this morning. And Lord, bless us. Encourage us. Father, we do pray for each one that is joining, and you know their circumstances. You know whether or not they're able to make it to church today or not. And Lord, I just ask for a very special blessing on those that are faithful. Father, you know. We lift them into your presence and ask for your very best for each one of them. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this Lord's Day. Thank you for our church family that we can meet together and we can enjoy each other's fellowship. Guide us and direct us today. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee. But to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight, their sorrow shall be multiplied, that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou might maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night and seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither shalt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. You know, you can't really read this portion of scripture without seeing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, especially as you look at verse 10. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. He didn't see corruption. He was raised again after the third day. And as we read the Old Testament, I hope that we make it a point to see our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on each page. Beloved, it is the Lord's Day. You have the opportunity to get together with your church family. In fact, not just the opportunity. You have the privilege of gathering together with your church family. Be there. Support your local church. Support your pastor and its ministry. Beloved, as we ask you to do every day, we ask you to be faithful. Be faithful to God in all things. Never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's go out and serve him and magnify him and glorify him and make the world ask us, about this God that we serve, who is so excellent, so great in majesty. Beloved, have a wonderful, wonderful Lord's Day. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.